An honor for a Purple Heart recipient here in Western Mass. The Vietnam veteran has been chosen as one of our nation's 2023 Purple Heart Patriot Project honorees. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Locri has his story. Former Navy Hospital Corpsman, second class, and current Granby resident James Bouchard will represent his fellow Purple Heart heroes as a Massachusetts honoree at a military tribute to the American military personnel wounded while serving their country. And he tells Western Mass News he can't wait to head to New York. They're going to show us West Point. We're going to be doing a ride around the Statue of Liberty, uh, the Purple Heart Hall of Fame. We're going to see some shows, so we're going to have, be having a, a good time. This year's Patriot Project honorees include both men and women Purple Heart recipients from World War II, the Vietnam War, Operations Iraqi Freedom, Enduring Freedom, and other conflicts representing all branches of the service, ranging from 37 to 100 years old. And as we celebrate our men and women who proudly wore the uniform, it's important we don't forget this honor came with sacrifices. Lost three good friends and Marines. I seen, I seen a lot of death. Western Mass News sat down with the Vietnam veteran. He shared with us his war story, reliving the horrifying details from that day in Death Valley that earned him his Purple Heart. It happened uh, August 25th, 1969, when I was wounded in the Southeast Asia. And another corpsman and a Marine came and got us out of that LZ, that killing zone, you know. And it was very chaotic. There was an NDA. We could see the brown hats all over and there was shooting going on. That fateful day, Bouchard was medevaced to the Naval Hospital with three Marines. He was the only one to survive. He explains, although it took a long time to get past the trauma of war, when he finally returned home, he received help from the Northampton Veterans Association. And now today, he uses his medical training as a corpsman to assist fellow veterans, including his son. Who was wounded in 789 in Afghanistan. He was seriously injured, paralyzed, and lost a leg. And uh, so I've been with him for the past 14 years, taking him to his appointments and helping him out whenever he needs anything. After the war, Bouchard went to college, eventually becoming an EMT. He has since left the field and went into construction, all while raising a family. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Reagan Locri.